Hi everybody, welcome to Stamping with Melva. My name is Melva Peters and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in British Columbia, Canada. And you can find me online at stampingwithmelva.com. I'm here to show you how to make a really cute card featuring the beautiful balloons bundle and the designer series paper, the bright and beautiful designer series paper from the uh, the upcoming or the new um, annual catalog from Stampin' Up. I'm having so much fun with this that I didn't think I would. Um, I love balloons, but I wasn't sure, you know, come sometimes balloons can be a little bit cutesy, but these ones are so, they're so pretty with the details that you can add to them. So this is card that I am, this is a swap card that I'm using on the uh, incentive trip. So I earned the incentive trip last year and we're on a cruise to Norway. So you may be seeing this, uh, this blog post when I'm actually on the cruise, um, but I thought I would uh, show you the swap card that I am going to share. We all were able to bring, uh, I think 26 of these, I'm making 26 of these cards. So I thought you, I'd show you how easy this this, this card is. All right, I'm going to switch over and we'll get started. All right, so this is the beautiful balloons bundle. Um, so it comes with the die cuts to cut out. Now these images are at 85%. So this is the die and you can see it's quite a bit larger than this balloon, which is what it cuts out. So these are smaller stamped image or smaller images than the actual stamp. So you've got the balloons, you've got a garland. This I love this sentiment that curves around the top of the balloon. Some really cute sentiments. That, there's a birthday one, but there's this would be great. You did it. It's perfect for um graduation a nice little um, string a tassel um, and you can also cut out a tassel there's a tag and then this creates a great fringe and you may have seen a card oh, there's some stars as well that I did using that fringe it's so much fun all right so this card I'm going to keep it fairly simple since I have to make so many of these um, so the card is I've cut for a piece of this is misty moonlight um, four and a quarter by 11 and I've scored it at five and a half and as always I fold into the raised line or the mountain and then burnish with my bone folder now for my swap I'm making half of these in misty moonlight and half in berry burst because I just love that those color combinations now I've cut a piece this is one of the pieces of designer series paper so it's got lemon lolly which is one of the new colors lots of the new and returning colors with this misty moonlight um lemon lime twist boho blue bubble bath have to get them right pretty peacock so all lots of the the colors that are new and returning so this piece um is going to adhere on so i've got a piece of basic white that i cut four inches by five and a quarter and this piece is two inches by five and a quarter so we're just going to adhere this piece of designer series paper to the edge so it's going to line up with the edge of the the cards this basic white card stock because it's actually the same length so we'll just kind of get it lined up and then this piece can adhere on to the front of the card pretty simple so far now one thing that i didn't do and you probably should have done is you might want to stamp this first before you go and adhere it to the front of your card but i'm going to hope it's photopolymer so i'm going to hope that i'm i'm okay stamping so i'm stamping so thrilled for you and I'm stamping that in Misty Moonlight. You could do it in very, um, Boho Blue as well. And then while I have my ink out, I'm going to stamp this string just kind of above. Because that's what my balloon is going to go on top. Oops. Okay, so let's, let's do some stamping here. Let's create this balloon. Now, I'm going to stamp the kind of the, the solid balloon in Boho Blue. And I'm going to stamp off because this is quite a dark boho blue. It's quite dark. And I just want it to be just a really pretty soft blue. And then using the misty moonlight, there is this stamp that's got stars and kind of it's like confetti. So we're going to stamp over top. And now we've got all those details on the balloon. It's just so pretty. All right, so that, I think I've got everything stamped now. All right, so I'm gonna take my die. 
You could cut a tassel and use on, but I'm actually going to just use some twine. So I'm going to bring in my mini stamp and cut and emboss machine and I need to cut my cardstock to be just a bit smaller so that it fits through. I love my mini. I've told this story before, but I broke my wrist in December and while my wrist was in a splint and not real functional, I was still able to use this machine because it is, it's lightweight and easy. It was easier for me to turn this um, machine than it was the, the big one. So yeah, if you have um, issues with arthritis or anything that causes you to not be able to use the, the big machine, this is a great option for you. Uh, the boho blue one was only available during celebration if you signed up um, but their white one is available all right i used a little bit of post-it note tape to hold my die in place so it didn't kind of shift around all right so we're just going to put the balloon on with dimensionals and this that's really it for the card put other than the inside we'll just put three dimensionals on like that, put it on the end of its string. And then I've got another piece somewhere. I need a piece of basic white. So let me just grab a piece of basic white. Quickly. forgot a piece of basic white for the inside of the card so I will just cut this we're going to cut it to be four inches by five and a quarter and I was thinking when I got everything ready I thought I had that piece but of course I used it on the front of the card all right so I cut an extra piece when I well when I was cutting my my um designer series paper, there was this extra piece of uh, designer series paper that is, I think it's half an inch. It might be three quarters of an inch. Three quarters of an inch it was the piece that I just cut off the bottom of the, of the designer series paper that I used on the front. So I don't throw these away. I just use them to decorate the insides of my card. And if you follow me, you kind of, I don't often put sentiments on the inside of my card because I'm not sure what this card is going to be for. The front, so thrilled for you, could be, you know, for anything. And so I'll leave the inside um, without a sentiment or without a, anything on it. Um, and then I'll put something on afterwards. Now, I grabbed, these are the flat backed adhesive, sorry, the flat adhesive backed pearls. And I thought these would go so pretty. I just love these and was so happy that they carried over. So we'll just use three of these on the card. And then I thought I would take and tie a little tiny bow. Hopefully a little tiny bow. Use, this is the white baker's twine. And so I'm just going to tie a little bow. And we'll take and use... A glue dot and put it there we go oops put it on the glue dot and then I'm just gonna take get the glue dot stuck on me there we go and just put it on there so it's kind of got a double bow on it it's got the string plus the bow all right there you go. That's the card that I am taking with me on the incentive trip that will be my swap. So hopefully you like that. It was quick and easy. And I just love, love how it turned out. And it's, it doesn't matter which designer series paper from this. It's all so pretty.
All right, everybody, hopefully you enjoyed that. Um, don't forget to hit that subscribe button underneath if you're coming in and watching this on YouTube. That way you'll get notified when I go live or when I post a video. If you follow the link underneath this video to my blog post about this card, you'll find all of the written instructions and measurements and the supply list. But wherever you end up, if you have a question about it, just leave a comment and I'm happy to answer that question. Thanks everybody for joining me. Hope you have a great day. Happy stamping. Bye.